Hi, I'm Dr. W.H. Pennywitt, the Pennywitt Center for Counseling and Education here in Hearst, Texas. Lately, there's been a lot of talk about brain, the wiring of the brain, connecting of dendrites and synapses, serotonin levels, all of this. I really enjoy people studying this. I enjoy them uh, taking an interest in this because I've been studying it for many years myself. But what I am keenly aware of working with thousands of people that I've worked with, each person, each brain, has an optimal way that they think. They need to have certain surroundings, and some people, they need to have opposite surroundings. If you're not in the proper surroundings, if you're not getting the temperament need to feed your brain, then things are going to go awry. An example. My temperament scores as a very strong people person, and I need to be around lots of people. And if I'm not around people, I get stressed out. So asking me to study in a, uh, a quiet room with no windows, the door shut, I wouldn't be able to do it for too long. I have to be in a noisy environment, and when I am, all oh, the creative juices come flowing out. But yet I know many people that could not study in that environment. They couldn't think in that environment. They have to have it very quiet. They have to have the curtain shut. They have to be, it, it has to have no people in it. Different people think different ways. So if you know what environment you are best suited for, your thought process will come to light. I'm Dr. W.H. Pennywit. Be blessed.